What's going on everybody? College Lefty Gaming and in this video I have for you guys a matchup against one of the best players in this game and he also has a channel on Twitch in Magunski. We matched up earlier this year in the Gamers Outreach Tournament. We did a, a charity game or we matched up in the tournament for a charity for Gamers Outreach. You guys are probably familiar with that charity as a bunch of uh, content creators have contributed in that. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it. He has an amazing record. I'll get my face cam out of the way here. And we'll get right into the gameplay. All right, so we both got Tom Seaver on the mound. We got Immortal Ken Griffey Jr. I went ahead and I did put the creative player at shortstop. I didn't want to risk anything on defense. But I just barely missed that ball. Popped it up to left fielder Ted Williams. He makes the play over there. And now we got Pablo Sanchez up. And this is on legend difficulty, so the PCI is very small. Any game that I any game I believe that is in uh, 900 rating or above is on legend difficulty. But this is a friendly game, so of course we wanted to play on that. And uh, McGunsky is one of the best players, so he always wants to play on the hardest difficulty. And I respect I respect that 100. percent I think that this game plays better on Hall of Fame and legend difficulty. I think All Star and below is is really tough to play head to head, obviously. And that's what battle royale and most of the events are. But here he gets a base hit to start off the game, and that's a 10 out of 10 start against one of the best players. You can't go can't go down two nothing in the first inning. I mean, he is going to hit the ball. He has a chance of hitting a home run anytime. But to throw three pitches and be down three run or two runs already, it's not looking good. My confidence is down already. I had to take a mound visit. I didn't show that there, but if I didn't take a mound visit, that pitch is probably hit for a home run. Also, um, it, last time I played. McGunsky, he put up 10 runs on me and robbed me of a few runs myself. He's he's probably, in my opinion, the best overall player in this game when it comes to hitting, pitching, and fielding. Just from what I've seen, I've been watching some of his gameplay for a long time. And this is another thing when when you're going up against a top player, you have to get you have to you can't miss these pitches. A pitch like that that I was I was pretty much on it. I was early and good. I need to hit that one either for at least a base hit or if I was able to get the home run, that's. That's ideal, and, and cut the lead in half and just chip away because I'm already playing from behind. That that in itself is not good. In these type of games, I have to be able to hit and go into a slugfest. McGunsky is most likely going to put up upwards of 10 runs or so each time he plays just because of the, his hitting stats. That's the way it is. He hits over 300. He slugs a, a, a great number as well. And some of these pitches I did get away with. But this far, thus far, I've, I've missed the, the few pitches I've had opportunities to hit up at the plate. And I, as you just keep an eye on the scoreboard as this game goes on. You can see it in dead center field. I was able to keep him scoreless here for the second inning, and we move we move on into the game. I got Sandberg up, who I did start at second base. I had the creative player at shortstop, like I mentioned. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to start Chipper Jones, and I have been starting Chipper Jones, but I do like to mix it up. I want to use that Sandberg as well. And really the only way I can play those guys without sitting the guys I want or the, without playing the guys I want to in, in Babe Ruth, Griffey, Trout, guys like that, Pujols, Ted Williams, I have to play uh, either Chipper Jones or Sandberg if that makes sense. And both of those guys are great bench bats to have. But anyway, he's got Mike Trout who started off the game with the base hit. I, was, I got lucky there, kind of threw that sinker, caught too much of the plate. The thing about McGunsky is he doesn't swing at any bad pitches. If you notice... I'm showing most of the the points of contact, the the plays where, or the pitches where I threw it and he hit the ball, or there was it was put into play, or a foul ball hit. That was a, I wanted to say something about the foul ball or the PCI placement, something like that. Something that, me analyzing the play. He he's the toughest player to pitch to, or one of or one of them. I mean, I didn't get a chance to play pitching rebel in our full game, but I would have liked to. Now that I got a chance to play McGunsky a couple times, I hope I get a chance to play Pigeon Rebel or some other some other players that are in the top ranked in uh, in current ranked seasons because the, the lifetime leaderboards is messed up. But here I'm getting a, a, an at bat with Griffey here, a good good PCI placement, hit it 100. Nothing there I can complain about. I hit it hard. I just hit it right to him. I mean, it, but in a game like this against a per, against a player like this, I need those hits to be home runs. If I don't get home runs on those hits. The chances of me, of me uh, winning this game are slim because I hit, I hit at a far less average. I hit 250. You know my stats aren't as good. Yes, I can, I can compete and stay in the game for a few innings or at least, you know, it's a two-run game here in the fourth inning. I'm competing with one of the best players in this game. 
But he, I mean, he's swinging at a few pitches that I probably got away with, and and it could be a higher scoring game for both of us. But at the same time, like I, I need to get, I need to get at least base hits on those squared up baseballs. Even the ones I barely miss, it'll be nice to get a couple base hits on those too. I'm not, I mean, it's not always gonna happen. The game on Legend plays a lot different. You have to square up the ball well, and I know for a fact the ones that he hit, the two base hits that he has for the two runs that he has, were mislocation pitches, and he hit them well. There's a good, good right to, right to the right field with Babe Ruth. Nothing I can do about that. But I was watching his stream while he played this. He streamed this live after playing another game versus somebody else. And, and I, I mean, I watched the hit he had with Griffey. I missed the spot with the fastball or the sinker, whichever pitch it was, and he hit it out to, to right field. Nothing I can complain about that. I'm not complaining about the game. So far, he's, he's outplayed me in everything, every aspect of this game. I'm hitting the ball right to him. Like there, I, I mean, you can see that I was hitting the ball off the end of the bat, though. Even, even though it might say good timing or good feedback, the the where I'm hitting the ball with the bat is not good. There you can see he he nailed it with the bat. He was out in front. He pulled that ball. I missed my spot a little bit, and that's all it takes. I mean, even if I throw it in the right spot, he's still gonna be able to hit it. That's just how good of a good of a hitter he is. And sometimes when I'm locked in, I'm able to hit hit well. And in this game, I mean, I just wasn't wasn't locked in there. I hung a change up, and he hit it out to dead center. I go down four nothing, which. Makes it even tougher for me. I'm, I'm down to my last four innings. At this point, I need to get at least one run an inning, and I give up another one. So the chances of me keeping him scoreless for the rest of this game aren't very good in itself, and I got to come back from behind. So that's what happens. I mean, that's that's why he's one of the best. He's going to be consistently hitting the ball like this every game, no matter who he plays, no matter who's pitching. I, I feel like, I mean, I haven't been pitching great lately. But usually, I'm able to keep some of the best players to to lower runs scored in the game. I mean, I even had Tom Seaver. I got my best pitcher, and he shelled him immediately. Like, didn't shell him, but he, he scored immediately off him. I pinch hit Chipper Jones this late in the game. I have to take him out. It's probably not the best idea to take Seaver out in that situation because now my best bullpen arm is probably Eckersley, which I know he's going to hit well. And Gagne, who I know he's faced a bunch, it's like Seaver was probably my best chance. If you guys are, if you guys are thinking how I'm thinking, the thing about it is, is I know that in this game I'm I don't care if I lose by 10 runs. I I just want to compete and try to have fun and and try to see what I can do against one of the best players. I, I take I think that this these types of games help me get better as I get away with the slider that I throw away in the zone there Andrew Miller I figured why not he's got some lefties coming up his creative player hits lefties a little bit worse I mean Lindor got a nice base hit there to start the inning but right once again I got away with the slider there he probably hit that ball well just right to my second baseman that's the thing is on legend you have to hit the ball literally square it up right now he's squared up at least three or four pitches there I did I squared up one per perfect I thought anyway was perfect right to the track at this point on his stream I was like I'm not getting a hit man there's no way Seaver's or Suter's got is gonna have confidence up if he didn't take out Suter Seaver would have confidence through the roof right now he'd be throwing a perfect game you know right now it's a combined perfect game and there that was just a nasty pitch I wasn't looking for a fastball up and away with Suter I had Ted Williams up I was looking for something a splitter low or inside inside and, and middle in and he he knew what to throw me in that situation that's why I think that's why I think uh, it's a really tough matchup anytime you go up against McGunsky because he he's a good pitcher he's a good pitcher as well. You see a lot of guys at the at the top of the leaderboards with a little bit higher ERAs. Um, the, not not McGunsky or not some of these other guys that are ranked top top of the leaderboards. I'm back. You know some of the, some of these other guys have around a low three ERA sometimes even in the twos and they're not using knuckleball pitchers or anything like that. They're not cheesing their way. So it's pretty impressive to see. But there once again good week with Pujols. And I mean, hit it 96 miles an hour. Not bad. Just didn't get good contact on a good swing. I mean, nothing I can do about that. I don't know what else I would have to do in that situation. Maybe because I, I didn't hit it in the right spot, the right part of the bat. I didn't get rewarded. That happens. It's legend. Um, I think. I guess rumors going around, and I guess it has been for a while. I've been kind of confused for the last month, whether what difficulties, what games are played on what. And I guess it goes from all-star in any game on the 700s with a 700 rated player and below or a 700 matching up with anybody above 800, the game defaults to all-star. But anytime it's an 800 and above, it's on legend. So I'm not sure about that. 
It might be Legend with a little bit larger PCIs because as you can see here, this is Yogi Berra with 125 vision. I'd be kind of curious against the guy with very, very high per nines. Gani almost has maxed out per nines as well. So I'd be kind of curious to see the difference in PCI size. I, I don't really know how to test that. I don't think I have the capabilities of testing it. I, I think it's... I think that the top players are onto something there. I think it might be on Legend for the for the World Series games. Definitely 900 and above is what they're saying. It is on Legend for sure. But anyways, that's gonna do it for that game right there. That was the final out of the game. I was able to get one hit, and it wasn't the nicest hit. I don't think I deserved that hit. But for some of the swings I had, I mean, every now and then you are gonna get rewarded for a bad swing. And I mean, he makes he made some great swings on the ball. He's a great player. I watch his stuff all the time, and uh, I think he's going to start getting into YouTube. I saw, I, I heard Coogs mention the same thing in his video. Coogs also gave me a shout-out in that video. I, I appreciate it, man. I, I tried my best, bro. But that's going to do it for this video. That was a great game. I almost actually got a perfect game thrown against me. That might have been the first time that's ever happened. But definitely check out both of our channels over on Twitch. That's kind of where I've been live streaming. The mcgunsky has been live streaming a good amount over there as well. Once again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. And if you have a question, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to everybody's. Peace out.